All right, so here we are. Firefly Lab on ground. And this is just something if you don't want to do ant strat where you just sort of run through. You want to have a little bit of combat, but you know, you need to manage your resources. You can't just go Rambo on these guys. This is the way I do it. Works pretty effectively. Um, and on this this level, before you go upstairs, you basically don't fight anyone. You just murder them. Like that dude. Um, now this is, um, this file is from when I was uh, playing on easy, so I have a lot more shit than I would normally have, but I'll go through uh, my usual grounded supplies in a second once these guys stop fucking around and come in here to die. Right. One more guy to kill. This is the El Diablo guy. And you screw with him, you will die. Alright, so normally what I'll have is... Let me just change out these uh, uh, guns. Normally I'll have three to five El Diablo bullets. I will have probably about seven arrows. And I will have between seven and eight rifle shots. Um, and with a little bit of fuel left for the flamethrower. Usually just 20, but that's all you need. You only need a little spurt of the flamethrower. And you'll kill these guys. Um, I don't usually pick up the rifle stuff, unless for some reason I'm short arm resources than normal. Uh, the machine gun. Um, I don't really care for it. Um, now, if you had normal grounded amount of stuffs, these guys you Molotov will usually drop El Diablo bullets. If not them, one of these guys will often do it as well. Anyway, off we go. Oh, the other thing that I'll have is um, one health kit. Um, two, well actually just one uh, Molotov after I throw that initial one. And one nail bomb. Uh, sometimes I have to craft the nail bomb here. But there will be one nail bomb. There's enough stuff to do that. Uh, you, I usually pick these bullets up, but you don't have to. If you do, the game will usually swap uh, the revolver in your holster. So you need to change that back. Otherwise, you will find yourself using a revolver and have a sad time because uh, Firefly guys have armor. Anyway, uh, I'm going this route in order to get to this room with no chance of being spotted. Um, I used to go across this hallway, but about one in five, one in six times I would get spotted by the guys who were behind the uh, uh, the desk up here in the little office area. Now, if for some reason I had an extra Molotov, you can Molotov these guys and it will not alert anyone. I don't know why, but it won't. Usually I, I am not able to do that though. So what you want to do is you want to bow them. Why that doesn't alert the other guy, I have no idea. Sometimes he'll say the dialogue like he's alerted, but he's not actually alerted. The other thing is, you have to... Um... Oh, missed. Don't do that. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. That should have alerted everyone. Um, I was about to say, and I just fucked it up, so I demonstrated it. Um, you have to shoot them low. Otherwise, because of their armor, they'll survive the first shot. Uh, what happened there is that guy's corpse flailed into that other guy, so first I shot the corpse, and then trying to avoid it, I shot too high. Uh, I think I got away with it, though, because I don't think any of them have been alerted. I didn't hear the um, little ringing sound it makes when that happens, at least. Um, so normally, because I'm short of resources, I go over here because I want my arrows back. Um, obviously, it doesn't really matter, given my resource situation here, but whatever, I'll grab them. Next, you crawl over here. Oh, by the way, if you do miss like that for whatever reason, you must shoot that guy ASAP with your bow, or it'll alert everyone. I have screwed that up. Before. Well, I mean, I screwed it up here, but I've screwed it up and then not been able to continue with the strategy before. So next, you want the, the Molotov that you have left for this part coming up, because I have tried to use the bow on these two, but no matter which one you hit, it will alert the other one, and when they're alerted, 
the guys who are in the hallway over there will come running in and then you're going to have a sad time. So, we do that. Then with our nail bomb, you'll, you, you'll have one, or at least I usually do. That kills everyone over here. And because everyone's dead, the additional guys who would spawn to fight you here will not spawn. And then usually I'll go over here to get any resources here that I could get. And if these guys dropped anything interesting, and then if these guys dropped anything interesting, which they usually don't. And then we run over here to the desk, duck down, grab our alcohol. These guys will run by. Um, you don't have to kill these guys. I usually do. Just basically just for shits and giggles. Um, you can either kill them with the bow, one at a time, or you can do what I'm going to do with the flamethrower. Um, it's probably not advisable to do this if you're really serious about what you're doing because if you fuck it up, you'll die. But I personally think the risk is minimal and it's just sort of funny to get them. This also means there's no rush um, after you uh, kill this guy. You can technically just run and visit the door, but I just kill the attacks because I don't really need it for anything else. And then you can grab your pills here if you want. And then there's this stuff over here if you want that too. It's no real rush, although you can still run. Um, and then we go through the door. Um, now, because of the way I, I do my grounded runs and the stuff I have left over for this, um, I fight the guys in the next room, but I have sort of a way of doing it where it doesn't get me into trouble. Uh, normally I would collect the stuff in the room over there and possibly the shiv door, but because I have all this crap from playing on easy, I'm just not going to bother to save time. There's also, I think, um, scissors in here, if I remember right. You really only need one smoke bomb for what I do. No matter what, it doesn't get through. Yeah, we'll just toss it in. It doesn't, and honestly, does not matter very much where you throw it. All you want is for this guy to turn. What? Uh, that would be bad. I'm grounded if I didn't have it. Ooh, this is weird. He should be dying from this. Ow. Okay. I just did that because that basically never happens. Pretty much the point of this is to kill the four guys at the front. Uh, and normally all you do is shoot at the flashlight and that guy dies. I don't know what was going on there, bad aim or whatever, but... Uh, we just want to kill this guy. And the reason we want to kill these four guys is it prevents the rest of the guys from moving forward as you move forward. They'll stay back here, and they're way easier to kill back here. And the next thing I want to do is kill a couple of guys, basically so that the dude who would be in that room there won't be there. I want him out here where he's easier to kill. Uh, but I'm just going to wait for them to relax and get up. Um, you don't have to do this. Uh, it's just basically if you try to shoot them while they're crouched, um, if you miss or you take a little long, all the other guys will shoot at you, and one of them has an El Diablo, and that'll just kill you, so. Uh, alright, we'll speed this up. If you hop in here, this is one way to get them to start moving around. Typically. There we go. I move back, because what I want to do is draw that one guy. And I shot the El Diablo guy, because he's the scary one. But that should draw the guy in the room out. And the reason I like to do that is these guys are easier to kill from in here, from the side. Because less can attack you at once. You can just sort of isolate them one by one and just kill them off. Like just take your time. There's no real rush. There we go. So he's not in here. Otherwise, he's like right against that door. It's really annoying. And there's our last guy. Basically, you know they're all dead if you don't count them anyway. When the music stops and it gets quiet. And for me, if I have a bolt left, I always do this. I always shoot the fire things for just for fun. Anyway, so that's. That's basically the grounded strat for the Firefly Lab, if you don't want to just run through. 
if you want to kill some dudes without it being impossible.